Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be come, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for our sinners now. For those who trespassed against us, or some shit like that, I can't remember. I haven't said that properly since like I was a kid, when I used to go to Catholic school, but we don't do that shit no more. We're open-minded, we don't believe in that bollocks. But I will still ask one thing from you, God. Please, give me more nomad lives. I am 100% dependent on Nomad, I suck at this game, I am nothing without my extra lives, I am shit, but God save me even though I don't believe anymore, thank you. Alright guys, it's Mike's, <laughs> you're like the little prayer, I'm joking, no offence to anyone who is religious, just you know, I had to get out there, I used to believe, I don't anymore, but what I do want is my Nomad lives, because this is Nomad, it's about time I make this build, it's now fully optimised, I've been grinding the last week or so, trying to get this shit all to max numbers, we are fully maxed out. All of our mods 267, all of our guns 286, 291 gear score on the bottom right. That's how we do it over here on Cryptonomous channel. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're running a house, six beast nomad, two other exotic guns because it looks cool, it's unique, it's a good way, an effective way of playing nomad. We're running 5k firearms and eight and a bit k stamina. So why I choose this stat distribution. I mean, a lot of people swear by lots of different stat distributions with Nomad, but me, personally, I settled with 5k because I saw a build of 9k. I have really I've been sleeping on Nomad for years, for months. So it's about time I started using Nomad. I didn't really know how I wanted to do it. I just thought 9k stamina was a bit too much stamina. I actually want to deal some damage. And I thought, well, if I get a responsive house, or maybe if I use assault rifles, but don't use assault rifles with Nomad. It's really, there's other builds for assault rifles. I wanted to use a responsive house, and obviously with responsive you need 4.8k firearms, but I thought let me just, you know, invest into 5k firearms. So running a deadly unforgiving house, card counter, usual talents, crit chance rate of fire, crit crit headshot, crit crit headshot, same grip as always, and on the liberator, same thing, responsive, unforgiving, deadly, this you will switch out at some point during the fight, you could have two liberators here. So, but for my main liberator, the one that you use when you have your ult, uh, it'll be again, crit chance, rate of fire, crit crit headshot, crit crit headshot, same grip as always. So, when you have your ult, you can use your responsive, because these are good talents, responsive and forgiving deadly, can't fault them at all, can you? No, no, no. When you use your ult, you're going to want to have a uh, determined gun. Now, I bought this from the vendor, I was going to use a lower gear score, but there's no point using a lower gear score to unlock competent, because the damage you get back from competent is what you lose by using a lower gear score. So. I'm missing a talent from this, not the best thing in the world, I don't recommend you do this, but because this is a niche build and we're trying to make something work, we have to make a little bit of a sacrifice, but plus, we're not using this for damage, we're most of the time using this to put predatory and determined. Predatory on the sidearm, because most of the time I do run the other liberator, and when I have this liberator, and so I don't have predatory, and you want to keep that predatory, because predatory and the nomad heal and if you can avoid fire for 5 seconds, or a few seconds whenever it is that health regen starts to come back, you actually see your health come back at quite a fast rate. That's something you've got to really, you know, get quite a few stacks of striker to get, you know. Nomad does have really good healing when you stack everything up. So the Liberator Centurion combo, not something you've seen often, a lot of you people have been asking in my videos, what's that 200 at the bottom? Well the 200 comes from the Liberator. Let's read it real quickly. Each shot with the Liberator grants 5% to your next headshot. That's one headshot, resets the stack. Max is 200, kills with the Centurion, grant 10% RPM to all weapons. All weapons. I think this is the bit which everyone has overlooked. They thought, or they probably think that it's only for this Liberator gun, which is quite, you know, difficult to handle. It has police M4 handling on the model of the lightweight M4, which is a little bit of confusion there for those of you who don't know. Uh, the police M4 is the worst handling of the three M4s. The LVOC has the best, purely vertical but strong. The lightweight M4, a more forgiving gun, but it has a little bit of unpredictability to the left and to the right, depending. You know, you can't control that. But again, it's both pe people's favourite assault rifle. And then you have the police M4, which if you're using that, you're doing it wrong. But the Liberator, unfortunately, is an exotic and it comes with this really cool, unique talent, which I have made work. I've done numerous videos on it. In some videos, I make use of it more. It depends on the situation. If you're doing a little bit better, then you can do this. You can afford to shoot down your enemy. It can take a few shots sometimes, which is why you want to run Expert on your pistol. Expert works on the down state, which is why I'm hitting upwards of, you know, 50, 80, even 100k. Um, 200k headshots I've hit on people on the ground. If you've got the Liberator stack and then you headshot them, headshot crit with Expert, you know, on the down state, 
you're doing a lot of damage. You can take people out in two shots. So you can, you know, whack, shoot people quicker than you can switch to, let's say, your sidearm and then run over and whack them. It can be quicker, but most of the time it'll be a little bit slower. Plus the rate of fire of the Centurion is pretty shit. It's the slowest of all the pistols, so bear that in mind. And plus you only have seven rounds or a Stenomag, not a, um, because trust me, eight rounds is not enough if you screw up. And plus you might want to get two kills with one magazine because you ain't got time to be reloading a pistol. You're already taking time out to shoot with your pistol. You don't want to take more time reloading a pistol. You want to get back to your house and shoot at 980 RPM. Because that's how it works. You get the 10% rate of fire off of the base, not off the base and the magazine here. So it's 85 extra RPM on top of the 46, which is 130, 850, 980. I thought about running the um, rate of fire, sorry, well, same RPM. I thought about running the rate of fire mag on here, but you lose too many bullets. Division 1, don't run rate of fire mags, it doesn't work. So, now that we've spoken about the three exotic guns that we're running on this build, let's get to the gear pieces. Health, skill, haste, critical, critical hit chance, I'd rather have burn resistance here, critical hit damage, best in stock is health, but we're going for max damage with the stat distribution that we've chosen. Bleed, shot, burn, god roll, backpack, crit damage, burn resistance, I'd rather have a bleed here and then the burn on the mask, on the gloves, SMG, crit, crit, and we're running 4% crit chance. I don't need to talk about what stats are where. But I'll t quickly tell you, we're running Firearm Skill Haste. Firearm Skill Haste. This is the most Skill Haste I'm going to run on this build because on here we're running Crit Chance. And then on here we're running Crit Chance. All maxed out mods. For all my performance mods, we are running Performance um, First Aid Self Heal. There's really nothing better you can run. If you want to do the Pulse, fine. I don't agree with it though. Unless you're getting hit by a super max pulse, don't use a pulse. Reason being, precision is so good. It gives you 12%, 12.5% crit chance, 25% crit damage. For you to reach those numbers with a pulse, you're going to have to invest into electronics. Then you're going to be losing the 15% damage from your booster shot. And then if somebody else is using a conceal, you've lost all that crit. This is 60% crit chance base, no matter who you fight. We're running crit save because you've got to run crit save. We're running adrenaline because it's 1.8.2. Works against Pred. It, now, you know, you probably make it, you can run into a shock turret, into a flame turret, run past a, a flame grenade, whatever. We're also running on the move because Nomad, health on kill, shooting dead bodies, gives you damage resistance and health on kill. Lots of buffs at the same time. And if you're doing it, shooting the guy with a pistol on the ground, you're getting on the move, you're getting your health on kill, maybe even back to full health, and then you're going to have the ADR, yeah? And then you're going to have your 10% rate of fire buff. I have been suggested to use Strike Back because of their self healing. If you like Strike Back, run Strike Back. If you're going to take any talent off, the only thing you should take off is on the move. Unless, of course, you are fighting zero Preds, which is a rarity because Pred has risen again. People have realised that Pred isn't completely useless. It just takes a little bit more skill to use. <laughs> so, Pred is definitely alive and well, alright? But it's not overpowered and stupid, apart from first bleed crits, but we won't talk about that. This is a Nomad build. Uh, any other talents? I really don't recommend. So just run those ones, okay? Skills. Immunizer, 100% necessary. Why? Because it gives you an overheal and it syner synergizes with uh, Nomad's um, Resolve because that is also healing into your overheal so you can use the box heal to literally bump up a slight overheal to a full overheal and it will stay there. Again, booster shot because what else are you going to run? If you're running super high skill haste then perhaps a disruptor could work in a team but then Nomad isn't a team build so you don't want to run that. Don't be a bitch, don't run a turret, alright? Pulse, look at the crit chance and the crit damage. It's shit. You use precision. Forget the pulse. Now as for links, the one that I don't recommend is Survivor. You can run Attack Link or a Recovery Link. Recovery Link most of the time, but uh, I think if you want to have some fun and switch it up a little bit, Attack Link is very viable. Of course, if you use your Attack Link, then you're going to have to switch to your other Liberator while we've determined on it. So for those of you who are looking at this build and think, yeah, this is great, but I don't have these two guns or I don't want to use these guns, that's perfectly fine. It is a bit of a fiddly thing. It doesn't work always. Um, it takes practice to be good at and to get it into your mind that you need to shoot the player dead with the pistol. You've got to shoot the player dead. Whacking doesn't work. I've tried it. If you're going to use something else, you may want to use an assault rifle for range. I recommend just using an MP5 here. Sustained, predatory, determined. Sustained because it synergizes with the health and kill of Nomad. Predatory and determined and then run the double barrel with that. Or I know, you might as well just run at this point a cool headed pistol. So you could actually use your attack links quite often uh, this way. Cool headed, you get in your ult back quickly. And for every kill that you can't use cool headed on, 
use determined on. I haven't actually tried this yet. Theory crafting it in my head, this should also work. Thing. Let's quickly go through the stat sheet. This is on the house. 47.5 crit chance. 130 crit damage. Hedge for damage should always be 62 because you've got the 6% from the muzzle and the scope. No accuracy at all. Stability from the grip. Everything else is pretty self explanatory. 25% health and kill. Remember, you can get that extra 6% if you run the sustained secondary. I do recommend that. Skill haste is 18%. It's the highest you can get it while maxing out your crit chance on your SMG. 564k toughness. The highest I can get it with this stat distribution. Fully maxed out build. 33.5% armor, which you're about to see right there, 8,008. Bleed resistance, remember, if I had bleed resistance in my backpack, that would be 50%. I could count the preds a little bit better. Burn resistance is at 50. Shock resistance, because, you know, shock are uh, aids. Uh, disrupt is not the most important thing on this build. You don't rely on your skills as much as other builds. So if you get disrupted, not such a big deal. You're still going to self-heal, unlike striker, so that's great. And this stuff doesn't matter. So that about concludes it for this build. We're going to go into some gameplay. I have lots of videos on my channel of this Nomad. Check the thumbnail of the title. It will say Nomad. It will be in the thumbnail. I, this build works 100%. Again, this is a solo build. Do not run this in a team. I've had people join me when I've had this build. And I still continue to use it. It doesn't work. There's much better builds there for team play, especially my D3 build. Check that one out as well. All in the description below. All right, guys. Again, if you want extra Nomad lives, just pray to Jesus. He loves you. He's watching down on you. And if you only get one proc, well, you know you're going to hell. So, <laughs> in a bit, guys. Yep. As soon as I come out. Yeah, as soon as I come out. Or something. No, like, we just ran into, like, four players. So we had to pop into wrong. Wait, he pop... Okay, I, got, I popped it. For, I popped that box. Oh, my God. I just seen, like... Oh, my God. I just seen, like, ten players chasing a manhunt. And I'm over here, rogue. Thank you. He's dipping. Dude, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. So you're gonna take him back around, aren't you? I'm just running down, man. Literally. Oh, I responded to DZ3 safer. Well, I can keep it going. Bub, get away from the desk now. Fuck. Morning.
with the indicated location and that ought to clear your manhunt. Oh my god, I've got like so many players chasing me right now. I literally pissed off the whole server here. I'm gonna run until I get my skills back. I only fight on my skills. I know there's a canister up here. Is it there? Oh, they're all here. No joke, dude, you'd be fucking people up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have literally, I put on, I made this Nomad build two days ago. That's the only time I've ever used Nomad. No shit. I've yeah. never used it. I mean, okay, okay, I, I put it on for, I've probably used Nomad three hours of game time since 1.7. Until two wow. days ago. Did I hated it, I thought it was so cheap and stupid. And I didn't want to be part of it, but hey. Striking yeah. got boring. Uh. Alright man, well, happy hunting. Yeah, you too man, cool. Enjoy yourself. Thanks bro. GG.